My name is Todd York. I coach at Choctaw Central High School. I, I'm the co head coach of the baseball program, and this is my fourth year. My dad used to play uh, pickup games every weekend, and he, he dragged me along, and I'd be out there watching him play, and, and uh, I just was just glamored at how he played, and it just fascinated. That's what got me into baseball. Talon, make sure you get there. You were still like this, you had a wide open spot. Uh, my favorite position uh, was catcher. Uh, I just love being a catcher. Uh, you're, you're in the game all the time. Uh, every pitch comes to you. You know, you're kind of like the uh, captain, real captain out there, because you, you're the only ones that's seen the baseball field from a different angle. Yes, it, it is hard on the knees. Uh, it, it did help me out some. As I'm getting up in years now, now I'm starting to feel it. It wasn't, wasn't as bad when, when I was playing, but now that I'm up in the years, it, it is, I'm starting to feel it. I uh, love the atmosphere. I love the kids. Uh, it's just awesome being around these people, uh, being around the kids, uh, seeing how they're learning and growing. And when they come to me as small seventh graders and just seeing them develop, and seeing how they progress, not, not only on the baseball field, but in the classrooms, is, is really amazing to me. We've started a middle school baseball program, so we get seventh graders and they come and practice with the high school. And just seeing their eyes just glow and being out here with the guys is, is just amazing to them and it's amazing to me, just seeing how excited they are and, and when they get uh, the uh, gear, like the uh, the hoodies and the hat, the jerseys, it, it just is it's just they it's like a second Christmas to them. They they're so excited. Uh, they and they start learning from that age. All right, we're gonna do a quick round of uh, infield outfield. Get at position where you uh, normally are practicing. Uh, outfield, make sure you spread them out and. Even out your lines and stuff. Same thing with infield. Make sure you even it out. All right. My style of coaching would be that I'm, I'm a laid back guy. Uh, I expect a lot of things out of them. I tell them before practice each time we get together, we talk for about five minutes. I let them know what's going to go, what's going to happen during practice, what happened, what's going to happen during the week. If we have time to do it, we'll do it. If we don't have time, you know, we'll try to pick up the next day. But uh, my expectation of them is always high. Uh, when we're practicing, uh, I don't yell and shout and say, hey, you did wrong, you, you messed up. You, I, I go, uh, when we take a break or if I have a chance, I'll walk over to them, I say, hey, uh, you know, you messed up here. You, you need to do the fundamentals better. You need to stay focused. You, I'm watching you. You may think I'm not watching you, but I'm watching. Just because I don't call you out doesn't mean that you won't, I won't correct you. And I'm here to correct you. And the, the kids pick up on stuff like that. Uh, I don't call them out. I don't blame them for anything. Uh, I make sure, you know, they do everything right. I pull them to the side. Uh, if I dress, if I have to address something, I address it all as a whole. I don't call out any names uh, and, and the kids respond to that. They get better the day that, I mean every day, each day they, they keep on trying, they keep learning stuff, they keep doing things and they better themselves at each practice. Uh, and also what they learn here at practice not only stays here at practice, but they do it at home also. And I always harp on that. I said, practice, this isn't the only time to practice. The real practice starts when you leave here and what you learn here and you do at home. Um, not all the time, you know, you don't have to have a full team out here to do what we do. Uh, the fundamentals, the basics, you know, you can go home, um, grab your rubber ball, put your glove, throw it against the wall, and you can practice on technique. Uh, you can, um, if you have a bat at home or even a broom, broom handle or a stick, you can work on your stance, you can work on your batting mechanics. Um, <clears throat> and that's my expectations and I kept, keep telling them, 
I said, I will see your progression every day. I will see your progressions as it goes from week to week, month to month. We'll see how you were at the beginning of the season and at the end of the season. And that gives us a good picture of what we need to work on during this, when we have our summer program. Okay, well, my expectations uh, after the season, we have summer workouts. We have the weight room that is open all summer. Um, kids are asked to come and work out, lift weights. We also give them a summer program that they can do, uh, like crunches, uh, push, push ups, pull ups, stuff that works with the core body and with the upper body. Um, we uh, we uh, uh, let them know that they need to do that, uh, keep their body going. If they can get into a league somewhere to keep playing ball or if they can play pickup ball somewhere, if travel team, uh, we expect them to go ahead and do that. Uh, we do have some summer camps that we do go to uh, if it's available and if the time is right because I do not want to interfere with a lot of the summer plans that some of the kids have. If we have majority team where they can go, then we'll go and enjoy them and that'll, that'll be the reward from my perspective it's a reward for them to learn our strongest attributes right now is really just about everything i mean the expectations high for these guys uh, we had some awesome pitching last year uh, we lost two starters but we've got about four or five that we saw over the summer that can come and replace that. And it's just getting to where we've gotten the level here is the competition has gotten there on the practice field. And it's making our job harder to find a starter nine to throw out, to put out there on the field because we have so many guys that are all competing for that spot and wanting to be out there. And I've got 22 on my roster right now, and all 22 basically can, I can just throw out nine guys out there and we can play. And that's something that we haven't had here in a while. And since I've been here, my assistants have been working hard and I mean, they are just awesome. I, I'm, I'm so proud of what they have done and what, what, how they are working with these kids, making sure that we have that type of uh, mentality here at, at here at Chalk Central. The, these, uh, my two assistants, uh, uh, Adam Johnson, who's been here with me for three years, and Kendall Steve, who's been here with me for three years. Uh, Adam works with the pitchers and catchers and, and the infield. Uh, Kendall Steve does the outfield. Uh, I go by, I, I let them know what we need to do, and they, they go out with, they come with some stuff, practice stuff, and we go out, we, we, they execute it real good, and, and, and I'm grateful to have these two uh, by my side. And, and, and the way that they are working with the kids and the way the kids respond to them has made my job a lot easier. But that's, that's I mean, right now, I, I honestly do not see any weaknesses in our team. Everybody has come around and, and Right now, we are fundamentally sound team. Your internet could be free with ACP. Max South Broadband has been approved by the FCC as an affordable connectivity program provider to help qualified households in our communities pay for internet services. You may be eligible for up to $30 a month towards your internet service. This could cover the full cost of high-speed internet services. This new benefit will keep households connected to jobs, critical health care services, and virtual classrooms. Your internet could be free with ACP. Max South Broadband is making your technology easier with its customer support service, Brainiacs. Max South Brainiacs is our unlimited phone support and 24-7 home management system that will support all your technology needs for 10 bucks a month. Brainiacs will support all your internet connected devices, including computers, tablets, smartphones, and more. Call today and ask about Max South Brainiacs customer support system and our SmartNet services to make your technology easier. Max South Broadband. Experience the Max. 
It's a new day at Max South. We are excited to share some great news. In our continued effort to support Mississippi businesses, Max South is now offering local advertising support. Through high quality programming, we combine traditional television and premium digital advertising, allowing your multimedia campaign to reach your targeted audience at any time on any device. Call Max South Media Sales today at 662 701 8628. Challenges right now that I uh, really, that I've been thinking about is how do I keep these guys motivated? How do I keep them going? How do I keep them in the flow of what we're trying to do? We've started, we're on our second week of practice and we're not having to stop and teach and explain like we have in the past. All these kids are just picking up, we're just out here, we're going and going and going. And that's good, but after a while, we it, the kids can kind of tend to get, well, I guess, bored, or they, you know, they they kind of want to tend to just joke around, thinking, oh man, we we've done this, we keep doing this, and, you know, and uh, it, that that's the only challenge: to keep them in the flow of that mentality that. We need to get better each day. We need to take another step forward and keep going and not having to stop and come back. And, and uh, that's really our, our challenge right there. Uh, these kids, have, have they, they come out here and they, they love it. They love coming out here. They love coming to practice. practice. Um, and and that, that's, that's just something that I, it speaks volumes to where my coaching staff and the kids are going with this. They're, they're seeing the progression they make. They, they're, they're loving what we're doing here at practice. They're responding to us well. We're responding to them well. We give them some options and, and sometimes we uh, make sure we're the ones that uh, do, do the things that we uh, need to be done here in practice for them. Uh, but that, that's really our, all my challenges right now is make sure that we keep them engaged and we keep them getting uh, getting better every day and that let them know that the season ain't started and to, that we need to better ourselves for the upcoming season. Well, last season we started off slow. We started 0-12, which was kind of frustrating to us because uh, we felt we had a great team. When we got to the playoffs, we won the first round. We lost in the second round. What I could have, well, really, I, we, there was nothing I could have do. I, what I did is I wanted to see where we were. So I picked some teams that were kind of tough and, and and I wanted to see where we really stood you know I just wanted that competition I wanted to guy the guys to see how to be focused uh, I tell the guys I see anybody can come out here and play baseball I can pick anybody and we can come out here and play baseball it's just how we need to have a program I reached out to some of these teams where I see where they are, are good during the, during, you know, they have a good baseball program every year. So I reached out to them and they wanted to play us. And, you know, we, we hung in there. And once the guys start realizing, hey, this is what we really need to do to be a team, that's where we started from. And that's when one, once we got our first victory, we just went from there. The guys start hitting, we start doing everything right. Practice was uh, turning out good and uh, great. Uh, the kids started doing everything they needed to be doing to better themselves, and it helped us out in the playoffs. So that's why they're here. They they're working hard, and um, it's, it's it's just pretty pretty special to me that these kids are starting to realize what they can become and what we can do here with a lot of hard work, a lot of practice. Yes, the the rivals that I tell the kids, you know, we do have rivals. We got two schools in here in Neshoba County, uh, Neshoba Central and Philadelphia. 
we have them on the schedule. And although some of them have played with them, maybe on tournament teams or, or at the park, you know, they come out here, and, oh, yeah, I know that guy, we're friends, you know, you know, and they like to joke around. I said, wait, oh, we're about to play, man. They, they're just down the road. They want to beat you just as much as I want to beat them, man. We can't have no friendship here, man. We, we enemies right now, you know, and, I, and we have them on schedule, and, and it, the, the people come out, and they sit up in the stands, and they watch the game, and they, they get into it. Then the kids get into it, and if we beat them, and I keep telling them, I said, man, that's bragging rights, man, especially here in Neshoba County. I said, man, it's a rivalry the game, man. Uh, to me, that's a rivalry. Max South Broadband is making your technology easier with its customer support service, Brainiacs. Max South Brainiacs is our unlimited phone support and 24-7 home management system that will support all your technology needs for 10 bucks a month. Brainiacs will support all your internet connected devices, including computers, tablets, smartphones, and more. Call today and ask about Max South Brainiacs customer support system and our SmartNet services to make your technology easier. Max South Broadband. Experience the Max. Your internet could be free with ACP. Max South Broadband has been approved by the FCC as an affordable connectivity program provider to help qualified households in our communities pay for internet services. You may be eligible for up to $30 a month towards your internet service. This could cover the full cost of high-speed internet services. This new benefit will keep households connected to jobs, critical health care services, and virtual classrooms. Your internet could be free with ACP. good high school baseball player. One who is committed to the program, one who wants to get better, uh, one who is just willing to work for not just himself, but for the betterment of the team. Uh, a, a guy that is, like I said, you don't have to be the biggest, the strongest, the fastest, but someone who can outwork other people and at the same time, help other people become a team. That's what makes a good baseball player to me. A good high school baseball coach. What makes a good one is the love for the game. Uh, not everybody would have really, you have to study the game. You have to learn how the kids, how the kids respond to you and how you can respond to them. Interaction that you have with the kids and like I keep saying, respond. Uh, how you talk to them, uh, how they talk to you, the feel for them, and, and you have that uh, line of coach and friendship. I tell them that's where we end. It's all about business. There's no, oh yeah, hey, you know, wanna wanna talk and chit chat here and there. No, we're here to work. I said, we can chit chat when, when we're uh, out there in the uh, courtyard or in the gym area. If you come talk to me, we'll talk, you know, I'll, but that's where I come and draw the line, right there between coach and friendship. Uh, and, and the kids, you know, understand that. Uh, guys, let's work hard. Let's, uh, let's get better. One more week. Actually, what, eight more days. Eight more days till the season, okay? Uh, we had a long break last week because of the rain. Uh, you guys should be refocused. You guys should be uh, ready to come out and practice. And let's get to work, guys. Uh, game day. Game day is something that is it's real hectic on my part because on game days, uh, sometimes uh, my, I have to get my class involved so we can get things going. We'll come down here to make sure everything, we, everything has clean. Uh, we have a good a custodial program that comes and helps and gets the field ready, but I do come down just to make sure uh, everything is done. And if and if need be, you know, I'll go out and help. I'll bring the students down here also, and they'll help out. We'll we'll make sure we uh, get everything ready for game day. Uh, the turnout here, the fans, they they do love come watching. Uh, and, and it's a relaxing atmosphere. You come out here, you got the ceiling fans, you got these uh, backseat chairs, you know, they'll come sit here. 
uh, they watch a game, they get involved, they clap, they cheer. A lot of people will call call our names or they'll call the kids and they, they wave. They, and, and the kids love that, the kids enjoy that, you know, and, and I enjoy that also. And it's, it's, it's just a great place to be. I mean, it's just great. And, and the stadium here that we have built gives them a sense of this is ours, you know, this is our, uh, and, and they're proud of it. They're proud of coming and sitting here and watching it and, and just what we come out, what we bring out into the field. And, you know, win or lose, you know, you still have people still here. And when we go shake hands, they'll come and they'll, they say, hey, good game. They, and, and just the interaction that they have here is, is just really great. Let's go one. We're going to me, we're going to three. One, two, three. We're, we're hard. Hard. <laughs> <laughs>